Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are doing well and having a great time. In this lecture, we'll be studying another type of uh, SQL MASH model. It's called incremental by time range model. So let me just give you an example here. Let me first create a model and let me create a new file. I'll name this file as employee.sql. Okay, let me just copy paste this. So let me just explain this kind of model incremental by time range. So when you define the incremental by time range model, you have to define time column. Uh, okay. In this case, in this scenario, I have defined higher date as my time column. So from where I'm going to get the higher date, I'm going to get the higher date from this table. So I have this employee table, uh, which has employee ID name, Department ID, salary, hire date, joining date, etc. Let me just create this table. So this table will be created in this database and in this schema. Okay. Let me execute this part of query and table has been created. Okay. Now I'm going to insert some values in my table. I'll use this command to insert. Okay. This is going to insert 10 rows in my table. Okay. Now, meanwhile, let me just explain the concept here. So when you're going to use the uh, incremental by time range, you have to uh, do two things. You have to define your time column. In this case, higher date is specified as, as the time column. And then you have to use the where clause to filter the record. So uh, the benefit of using the incremental by time range is that you filter the result by specifying the where clause. So therefore, you're going to get the uh, you going uh, the, the the cost is going to be reduced and the performance is going to be improved okay by reducing the number of records and uh, now this is the syntax of uh, snowflake current current timestamp minus 10 okay so this will give me all the employees uh, which are hired in less than 10 days okay now uh, it has been executed successfully now let me just execute this part of my query and let's see what will happen yeah only four rows will be uh, returned now also you have to specify with incremental type of models you have to specify the start date as well so i'm specifying the start date let's say 0101 is going to be my start date fine Everything is okay. Where clause has been specified. High date is being used as my time column. And first, I'll execute the command uh, SQL mesh, uh, SQL mesh evaluate, and I'll specify the model name. I'll explain this command, but first, I'll have to do some changes in my in my model. This part is defined as as is called as ddl of a model and this part is select statement of your model okay select query stg t35 is going to be my schema name and this is going to be the name of my table now save this and let's uh, copy and paste let's explore the command evaluate so this is going to return me the data frame. So the, this part of query, this part of query will be executed and it will return uh, some data in the form of data frame. Let's enter. So how many rows I will get? Let's see. This part of query has written four rows. Let's see what uh, result I will get from this command sql mesh look uh, data frame has been returned with four rows okay now i'll execute the command sql mesh and plan Backfill tables. Uh, look, this is the start date which I have specified. 
okay yes since i have created a new model or if you're going to do some changes in the model then this things will this thing will come this is called the back filling creating physical tables okay let me just check e35 is going to be the name of my schema t35 yes E35 schema has been created now let me just look if table has been created or not two tables should be created one is a temporary table and the other one is the original table look number of rows how many rows have been populated there are four rows have been populated I have to look at change that uh, schema from dev you have to go to the schema t35 and then you have to execute this part of query look four rows have been populated now the next step next thing that I want you to understand is that what if you specify the column other than this higher date here what will happen for instance you specify the column joining date this column joining date what will happen for example joining date what will happen let's say uh, uh, I do like this so what will happen uh, so uh, SQL mesh treat this query like this this is how the SQL mesh will treat this query uh, where okay this is how this query is going to be treated where higher date greater than equal to this date and joining date greater than equal to this part of the date. I hope uh, you have understood and followed every steps thank you so much and have a great learning